We've all day dreamed about how we'd get on in a Walking Dead scenario, with rations running low, tensions running high, and biters staying bitey. Thanks to the best zombie survival games, we can see just how long we'd last without having to go down the whole real apocalypse route because, you know, that's quite a lot of stress in your life. The survival genre seems really custom made for living out a bit of a zombie outbreak roleplay, what with the hallmarks of the genre being a constant need to find food and water while being wary of other humans, who we all know, based on a thousand bits of zombie media, are the true monsters. In fact, two of the most influential games of all time feature both zombies and survival, though wildly different visions of both. If you want to try and eke out some kind of living in the world gone mad and undead, here are some of the best zombie survival games out there. Bear in mind that games listed for PS4 and Xbox One will also work on PS5 and Xbox X and S respectively thanks to backwards compatibility. Right, let's call Aunt Alicia and crack on with this. Hello Aunt Alicia, any news on Minecraft 2? Hello? 10. Night of the Dead Night of the Dead, as well as being one word away from an adaptation of the most influential zombie movie ever released, is pure survival against zombies distilled into its purest form. You have to keep yourself fed and eventually find a way off the island of undead you find yourself on, but first and foremost, you have to kill waves after waves of them each night. With base building and crafting, as well as the ability to make traps so complex they make Jigsaw blush, Night of the Dead is a remarkably ambitious yet still straightforward zombie slaying thrill, which is sometimes all you need. Night of the Dead is in early access at this time of recording, so it has a lot of roughness to tidy up and balancing to nail, but it's coming along very well indeed. We are very excited to see this fully launched by 2031, based on how most zombie survival games get on in development. More on that later. 9. The Infected Maybe the least popular game listed here, The Infected doesn't exactly help itself with its generic name that immediately calls 28 Days Later to mind. In fact, The Infected is as interesting a spin as Danny Boyle's classic was back in the day as you're actually taking on Vambies, vampire and zombie hybrids to you and me, and not just zombies. Currently in early access at the time of recording, The Infected holds a lot of promise, especially considering it's the work of one guy. While the crafting could probably do with a lot more polish and the AI needs some improving, this is an open world sandbox worth at least trying out if you want a zombie survival game off the beaten path. Zompires would have been a much better name than Vambies though. 8. Unturned You've probably heard of Unturned already, what with its blocky visuals, that channel Minecraft and slight jank, but you might have completely overlooked it just because of its seemingly kid-friendly style. Let's be honest, if you want the punishing realism of a zombie apocalypse, Unturned is not it. However, if it's the chance to play with friends and really sink into role-playing you're after, Unturned might actually be the best zombie survival game on this list for you. While it's true that the actual survival elements are negligible as the game seems to focus heavily on PvP these days, that will barely cross your mind as you go zooming about on your jet ski. Heck, they even had NPCs before Fallout 76. Oh, and the fact that it can run out of potato and is completely free doesn't hurt either. 7. State of Decay 2 State of Decay 2 gets so close to being the perfect zombie survival game, the best possible vision of what living and trying to thrive in a post-apocalyptic community would look like. It doesn't quite get there, largely due to just how buggy and glitchy it still is after such a long time, but also because all of its ideas don't quite stick. Still, for fans of the original State of Decay, or those who want to have a fun co-op game with friends, State of Decay 2 can be an absolute ton of fun. With permadeath that can really hit you where it hurts and loads of zombies on screen at once, State of Decay 2 is doing the opposite of decaying as time goes on, though hopefully the third game nails everything from the off. Do wish people would stop demanding you get stuff for them though. Get your own food you bloody wasters, I'm not your mother. 6. Miscreated Miscreated popped up around the time DayZ really started making it big and was one of the only DayZ clones that stuck around long enough to become its own thing. Make no mistake, Miscreated is an acquired taste that won't be for everyone, but there's plenty to enjoy here for those who can overlook its quirks. Much like other games on this list, Miscreated features base building, PvP and the need to always keep yourself fed and hydrated. However, thanks to mass radiation, the zombies themselves, even if the game calls them mutants, are far more than just lumbering goons. Umbrella would be proud of some of the ghouls on offer here. 
Again, miscreated isn't for everyone, and the developers don't seem to be updating the game as frequently as they once did, but it might just take you by surprise if you get it on sale. Also, every time I see this game's name, I think it's miscreant and now I just want a new bully game. 5. Scum A game almost more famous for its penis slider than the actual experience it provides, Scum feels like the hardcore survival fans kind of game. Not only do you have to make sure your diet is balanced so that you can stay at maximum fitness, but you also have to make sure you're not too heavy when crossing water or else you'll drown. This kind of realism makes Scum a game that really isn't for everyone, though it's not trying to be. Scum is a very specific game for a very specific kind of player, presumably those with a PhD in human metabolism, and the actual zombies themselves feel a little ancillary, but there's still something special about it that's hard to shake once it grabs you. And while it's been in early access for perhaps too long at this point following a 2018 release, the small team at Gamepires are adding new content and mechanics fairly regularly. Better try it out before everyone gets obsessed with it again at 1.0. 4. 7 Days to Die 7 Days to Die, more like 7 plus years to make, am I right? We have fun here, smash subscribe immediately. While this massively ambitious blend of tower defense, FPS, RPG, sandbox and survival really should be out of early access at this point following a 2013 release, there's a reason why it sold over 12 million copies. Despite its visual shortcomings, Seven Days to Die is a blast. As the name suggests, Seven Days to Die takes place across a week with each night bringing increasingly difficult swarms of zombies to your door. Or does it? While that's the basic concept, fun pimps have made each run highly customizable to how you like. Want more PvE? Crank the dials to the left. After a more chill experience, disable the blood moons and make the zombies relax a bit. The bitey bugger is it? With you even being able to survive long past the titular seven days, this is a game that could consume you. Be warned though, don't get its console versions which have more or less been abandoned following drama with its original publishers. 3. DayZ DayZ is more or less the cousin to 7 Days to Die, what with them both being in early access seemingly since the dawn of time, though DayZ did eventually hit 1.0 back in 2018 after being the poster boy for early access for many years. Where Seven Days is really about the PvE and fending off waves and waves of zombies, the thrill of DayZ really lies in your human interactions which has since been aped in countless games since. But have any of them done it as well? That is arguable. It should be no surprise that the game that inspired Rust can have a cruel edge, though Rust doesn't allow you to be as sadistic as to handcuff other players that you come across, basically leaving them at your whim. If you don't mind DayZ's many issues, which really are just part of its DNA, and the fact that you will likely be running around and begging for water for at least your first few hours of play, DayZ is going to soak up days of your time. However, just like Seven Days to Die, exercise caution with DayZ's console ports. Not because they've been abandoned or anything, just because they're bad. Please don't defend them. It's fine if you've lied to yourself, just don't lie to us. 2. Minecraft what do you mean it doesn't belong here? There are zombies and you must survive, therefore Minecraft is indeed a zombie survival game. While the purists out there will likely scoff at Minecraft not being cast in hues of grey with trigger happy PvP, it's still hard to deny its influence on the wider survival genre. Despite them being big green blocks, the zombies in Minecraft, who have a wiki longer than most novels, are actually terrifying, especially when they besiege your little breeding camp of villagers that you've been building for dozens of hours. Their terror factor is only multiplied when you play hardcore and have one life and one life only. Once that's gone, you're done. Yes, Minecraft doesn't have the demands of other zombie survival games where food and water is a constant, almost oppressive requirement to keep on top of, but the great thing about Minecraft is that you can play it almost any way you want. In a sense, it's the most flexible game on this list in terms of role-playing, even if the sense of realism is obviously missing. Also, we've mentioned this already, but never forget that you can enslave a bunch of people and make them make babies and work for you. The Walking Dead never went that dark, did it? And at number one, Project Zomboid. 
As well as being the king of zombie survival games, Project Zomboid is also the king of early access, having been part of the program on Steam since before the PS4 and Xbox One came out. It's actually been playable even earlier than that, with it previously being available on a little known platform called Desura in 2011. However, while some games get really bad reputations for hanging around in early access for too long, Zomboid seems to have one of the most understanding, patient communities out there. Why? Because what's available to play right now is more than enough game already with so many different opportunities to get lost in your zombie apocalypse roleplay. Played from an isometric view, Project Zomboid is just about as close as you can get to replicating classic zombie fiction in video game form, right down to the fatal nature of bites. You have to be on top of everything here, including watching food as it cooks, otherwise your house might go up in flames and you'll become some delicious barbecue for zombies. It's weird to say this considering how long the game's been in the works for, but it really does feel like Project Zomboid is just getting started, especially when you consider the modding potential on offer. Even if the visuals aren't the best and the development cycle feels incredibly protracted, Zomboid is to zombie survival games what Dawn of the Dead was to zombie cinema. And there you have it, that is our list of the best zombie survival games you can play right now. As ever, did you agree with the list? Did you disagree? Let us know down in the comments, we always love to hear from you. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss any new videos coming to the channel soon. Please also consider checking out the Facebook page, the Twitter page and of course the Cultured Vultures website, culturedvultures.com. We hope to see you in the next one, but until then, until then, kakooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooo